Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. I am a full-time dasher and I like to show you a dasher's life. What a everyday scenarios or events that happen in a dasher's life, what you run into and you can learn with me, you can laugh with me, uh, make fun of me, whatever you want to do. Uh, but it's fun. You never know what the heck you're going to run into. So in this video today, um, you're going to see me do one of those fun hotel deliveries. And it's never on the first floor it seems and it's never uh, you know as soon as you get off that elevator it's never right there it's always down on the end so let's do a few stops and again one of them is that fun hotel delivery <laughs> all right let's go oh, yeah and be sure to like and subscribe if you don't like this thing at the end you can unlike it but it helps me out trying to grow this channel hey I've just eclipsed 20 subscribers yeah moving right up <laughs> uh, what, no, only 980 more till I could be monetized. But one step at a time. So like and subscribe. All right, let's go. Thursday night. I got one thing to say. Mexican pizza rules the day. Keep getting Taco Bells. I just got done with Taco Bell. It was a stack, $12 payout. So you're thinking, ooh, mate, could be two hidden tips. I went in there, the lobby's full of people looking at, you know, sitting with that disgruntled, upset look on their face with their phone in their hand, like. Yeah, lobby full of them. They had a pickup rack. And there were a lot of orders on it. None of them mine. Or the dashers that were waiting. And I saw some that said Grubhub, you know, not just DoorDash. Not mine. Not any of theirs. So that was 20 minutes. So if you want to waste 20 minutes, there you go. Find yourself a Taco Bell order. You've got it. 20 minutes gone. Boom! <laughs> Um, so anyway, those are off. Uh, one hidden tip of a dollar, so I made thirteen dollars. Now I've got a stack. This one I'm hoping will be better. I'm picking up at this Pizza Hut, and it was stacked with that sushi bar. So Pizza Hut sushi bar. Pizza Hut Sushi Bar. Those are no orders you'd like to have. Now, one of them's going uh, across the other side of the airport, probably a good five miles from here. But let's go get these, and maybe we'll uh, do better than the Taco Bell. Let's see if they're ready. Here we go. Pizza Hut was ready immediately. Now let's go to the Sushi Bar. Let's see if that one's ready. All right, we got it. A one-minute wait. They were just bagging it up, so no worries there. All right, we're off to the deliveries. You know, it's easy. It's easy to record things of negative that's happening, right? But sometimes things happen that are positive. I mean, like the media, they they don't really post much positive because negativity sells. I think that's the same with YouTube. But uh, so far, so good on this one. It's positive. Come on, let's just hope uh, the end of this turns out well, too. So let's go deliver them and see uh, what happens. Oh, the traffic. Come on. Let me out. Let me out. Got money to make. All right. Got the Pizza Hut delivered. Whopping five fifty. Is what it is. Now we're going to go deliver to the Courtyard by Marriott, which is a hotel. Shows a six fifty payout. Will there be a hidden tip? Time will tell. Stay tuned. Here we go. Hey, the older I get, the more I appreciate nature. And look at that sun. Oh, yeah. Thanks, trees. Just when I want to appreciate the sun and all the awesome stuff God threw out at us and In created. A mile, turn right you block it with some road. trees. There it is. Look at that. Just wonderful. Man. I can feel that heat, too, from... How many millions or billions of miles away but 
trillions. I don't know how far it is. It's far. And still we feel the heat. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, let's keep going. All right, we just went over the Martian landscape, pothole alley. Now we're getting on the freeway for about a mile. Do a few zigzags and we'll be at this Marriott. Get this thing off. And voila, we have arrived. Find the elevator here. It's a maze. Okay. This place is a maze, man. Couldn't find the elevators. Nobody manning the front desk. What are you gonna do? Nice and quiet, though. Come on, close. Almost there, almost there. Room 255. None of those are 255. <laughs> I'm getting beat down. Now where do I go? I guess since these are going upwards, I guess I'll try this way. Nothing easy. I'm telling you, these hotel deliveries, when you come out of the elevator, it's as far as possible, like all the way down on the end. <laughs> I only have two 20s. I got a bad feeling this is gonna be a dead end. That's because it is. Hmm. I'm going down these steps. Come with me. Number 255. That's it. Probably on the other side of the building. Go up through here. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, look at this. It's like that scary movie, The Shining, way back in the like, 70s or 80s. It's creepy. I don't know. This is nuts. Number 255. At least the highest one I've seen was 230s. Oh, I'm back to here again. Let me go ask somebody. I gotta do the unmanly thing and ask for directions. Well, men don't do that. We just muscle through. If you can't find it, it's like shopping. If you can't find your item, just walk out of the store. Don't ask for help. <laughs> right, let me go find somebody. One fifties are down here, which means the two fifties are gonna be right above us. But how do you get up there? Oh, elevator. And I found it. See how smooth and easy this is? In and out. <laughs> oh, brother. 255. Hey, check these out. See these? Boom. Connected by a magnet. It's a magnet on one side of the shirt and then a magnet on the outside of the shirt. And you just hang your glasses on there. Because I only need them to read. But, uh, I'll lose them all the time. I lost the case. It's pathetic. They have a sleeve pocket and I bend over, they fall out. So it's pretty good. All right, let's go see if we can find 255. This is the longest elevator known to man. I mean, Finally. Jeez, I think it took two minutes. There's nobody in it. There's only three floors here. There we go. It's not inst instilling confidence in me when it's taking that long. Maybe it's taken into account people. Some people aren't 
you know, maybe they're moving into the elevator a little slower, right? So, it's all good. Hidden tip on that one, 50 cents, big one. They have DoorDash at 50 cents. All right, time to get out of here. Okay. Well, it was a very anticlimactic delivery, I must admit. I went up and down one side of the hotel, came down, asked the guy where this room number is. He did. He said it was on the other side of the hotel. So I had to walk over, take that elevator up, as you saw. It was sushi, so I had high hopes, right? Sushi, typically higher end. Delivering to a hotel, hidden tip potential, and they hit 50 cents. Now I'm way over here at the hotels, which uh, there's no merchants near here. DoorDash did reward me for my hard efforts, though, with this $2.50 offer as I was walking out of the hotel. Highly appreciative. I had to decline. Um, it was very tempting, right? Well, it's about 8 o'clock. Do I go chase a few more orders? Or do I just go home, edit, and publish the videos that I said I was going to publish? I said I was going to do five videos a week now. I said that, in, uh, I don't know if it was this video or uh, the one before this that I made today. Because if you plan on making it on YouTube and you're not publishing videos, you're not going to make it. That's like planning to get fit and not exercising. Or exercising once every other week or once a week you got to be consistent so i am going to now be consistent starting today doordash has not been that great i'm on hold on other apps you know waiting lists or i can't even do those they don't have them in this area so i have to create another income stream and i'm shooting for youtube right now so like and subscribe will help out immensely. Share it with all your friends and family. They'll love it. Call it uh, Dash TV. And if they won't love it, well, get some new friends. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to call it a night. Let's go edit some videos. Not a very good day. Might have hit 100. Dismal. Dismal day. Um... All right, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Try not to be negative all the time. I'm working on it. It's easy to be negative. It's the achievers that stay positive, that keep getting up when they get knocked down. All right? What does Rocky Balboa said? Say he says, uh, It's not how hard you get hit. Or, uh, I don't know what he says. You get, you get the gist of it. It's not how hard you get hit, but it's what you do after you get hit or something like that, All right? Anyway, see you next time. Oh, yeah. And if you were wondering, I wonder how he did Thursday night. Three hours. I did three hours. I wonder how he did. He never did say how well he did. Well, one, I was kind of ashamed to say it, but I'm going to say it because this is going to be real. I see $20, $25 an hour, $30 an hour, all that stuff. I made $15. $15 an hour single lapping. So that's, that was the day. All right, I've fulfilled your curiosity. Let's do better tomorrow. Take care.